Hi, I'm Tindra Kumar Singha. Hi, I'm Champana Dhyangani. So today we can talk about dynamic linking to React Native using Firebase. So the agenda is as follows. First we're going to talk about what is deep linking, then real world problems faced with deep links, then we're going to give you a brief introduction to Firebase dynamic links. Then we can talk about some common use cases in dynamic links. Lastly, we are going to show you a demo on implementing dynamic link in React Native using Firebase. So to proceed with this demo, we expect you to have basic knowledge on Firebase as well as React Native. So what is deep linking? Deep linking has been here for a while now, but it was getting popular with iOS 9 release. So if I explain it in the simplest way, deep linking is enabling you to jump into a specific page of your application from somewhere outside of your application. So what that really means? So we all have this experience with web URLs. Once we click on a web URL, it will redirect us to another web page. So same thing we can do with application now with the help of deep linking. So deep linking supports seamless user experience. If you have the app installed on your mobile phone, so it will redirect to the destination that we mentioned in deep links. But if you haven't already installed the app in your mobile phone, then what it does is it directs you to the app store or the play store of your mobile phone. So that you can do the installation after, just after the installation you will be redirected to the destination. So this is this is facilitated by branch linking platform. So branch linking platform is third party service provider. So it is capable of deciding whether you have and whether you have installed the application in your mobile phone or not. And it also capable of identifying whether you have using iOS or Android. So the other advantage is it enables linking between apps. So up until now, we don't have the connection between apps. So imagine you have been in one app, all the time you have been in one app and you wanted to use another app at the same time. So with deep links, you can do this. For example, you are watching uh, some movie in Netflix, at the same time a pop-up comes and you will redirect to another application within your mobile phone. So even though the concept is so clear about deep link, it has some issues when it comes to real world scenarios. So the cross platform navigation issue where same link won't be working in the iOS, Android and iOS and Android same time. So the second one is linking data losses during installation process. So imagine that you haven't installed the app in your mobile phone, then it will redirect to the app store or the play store of your app mobile phone so that you can do the installation. So the last one is linking uh, data loses during app installation process. So what it means is after the installation user will be uh, leaving without, without redirecting to anywhere because it has lost its linking data within the deep links. Yeah. So let us focus on the most uh, uh, webinars most uh, objective is Firebase dynamic links. As Champani has explained about uh, uh, about deep linking and about a brief history about it, so let's uh, what were the cons and pros and cons. Uh, what Firebase has uh, overcome, how Firebase have overcome those uh, um, disadvantage uh, cons about uh, our the deep linking. So first of all, first handling cross platform navigation with one, one link. Even though it's uh, it's uh, it's defined as one, one link in uh, Android and uh, iOS or desktop application, but still some users are be a bit confused of using it for when it comes to user experience. Especially when it comes to user experience, it's going to be a, like the uh, for Android users and uh, iOS users are totally different. So they are like confused uh, about their user experience. So they are going to go on with the uh, then uh, Firebase dynamic links has introduced us uh, this uh, navigation process from from only one link. You can even use any desktop, web, web, Android or iOS, any platform, you name it. 
so the the basic example is like if a user is you can customize as you want even though it's a android user you can t- totally give a marvelous experience for them when it uh, when you navigate to through the deep link but uh, deep link that you uh, generated through five is dy- uh, dynamic links it's uh, it can be differentiate as you want so now let's go to the second one change behavior according to use actions here yeah, just imagine uh, user the deep link is linked to a promo uh, coupon coupon or, or a, uh, what, uh, ads or you name it so if the user is coming from those kind of links it uh, the we can customize as we want if you, we can uh, put, uh, give users what are the div- uh, how they can uh, f- look and feel the application and the third one handle app installation process as uh, champan has explained so when it uh, when we are coming through a deep link to our app store uh, the, when just imagine the user hasn't installed it then it will go to a normal process installation process and after that user has, uh, user will be the, as a deep link we are just giving a parameter so that uh, user can navigate to straight away to uh, the route what we have uh, what we want the user must be there so it will the route will be um, gone the dynam- uh, the link has gone then it will go as a normal uh, installation process so for some users it's like a headache so they even though they don't doesn't want to uh, install our app the people will uh, not use the application anymore so they uh, the people might think it's no point of using it uh, when the objective is not completed properly so the fourth one is like provide user better first time experience yeah as i explained in the above the when it comes to user for experience only because of that firebase has the developed specially for uh, dynamic links for this so when it when a user is coming through a, a mobile uh, ad advertisement promotion or coupon or through a website link uh, it when it comes to a coupon they can customize as the link we can specify uh, this is what user has to be shown if he is coming from the, if he or she is coming from this link it has to be uh, uh, designed as this possible yeah and uh, now let's go through the common use cases yeah common use cases as real world app promotion as i explained real world app promotion the majority of our using ad promotions through uh, like a pop up or the it uh, just a sla- just a icon in right side or you uh, in uh, specially this happens with uh, web users web users we can convert web users to app users uh, even though it's like it's totally difficult but we can give the same experience as they are watching it they are using how the web users can can be converted to app users and user to user sharing basically it's like if if i want to share with someone uh, a link uh, about a specific uh, game or a coupon or a uh, form you can easily share it through deep linking and uh, the especially when it come to games like if you want to share only that level you can straight away just share it through a deep link then uh, for sharing then it's so easy to customize as a developer so we can uh, straight away give that person the access on this is the level your friend has uh, given so you can straight away go to that uh, level and the play dot and converting desktop users to app users it's yeah it's even though it's like a old fa- the people are saying it's old fashion but still desktop users can can be converted to app users because uh, app users are more uh, app app we are using so we are using apps for to be easy to when we are when we want to trans when we are traveling you can you you can even use a, uh, you can do your office work or any other stuff so desktop users can be converted uh, into app users and let's go on with demo now Uh, the code will be available in uh, github uh, we will share it uh, through the description and uh, yeah this is the basic this is just a basic react native web but we, uh, what it does is like after clicking on this uh, view icon it will just show a dog a picture 
uh, that's just navigating to another screen so by clicking this uh, button so what we have configured is so now let's go to the code code level Mm. So, if I explain about a uh, little bit of uh, React Native, what what I have done here is like uh, React. Uh, I have created a component called route. That's the main route. Uh, that's the main uh, where I handle my uh, all the routes in my application. So, if I go to the route. Yeah. Uh, here I have used React, uh, React Navigation for the navigation purposes and uh, I have uh, created two screen, a simple screen with a home screen is just what you, you just saw, it was just a simple uh, button. Yeah, uh, this is the screen and here, here is the, uh, mm, the deep linking stuff is happening. We are just creating a listener so that if uh, this is the URL that the people will navigate. If uh, if we open this URL in our bra, uh, mobile application, it will straight away navigate to that uh, this screen. It will straight away navigate to this screen. Not you don't have to like click on this and go on to the next page. You just straight away just it will go to the uh, the picture screen, the detail screen. So here I have done is I have uh, created a const initial link that uh, getting the uh, initial get initial link that uh, it will uh, it will give it will be edited from the uh, firebase dynamically and here i have a console login and i'm checking when if a user is like uh, straight away coming from uh, if a user is just straight away coming through the app store rather than using a deep link it won't uh, it won't navigate to this link only if the user is, the user is eligible to, to go to this uh, display screen, detail screen, is only through this app. In, uh, straight, uh, it will navigate only if, only if this uh, user will, if, uh, if only if the user is coming through this link. Otherwise, it has to go to a normal process, the installation process. Yeah, uh, this, yeah, I uh, have debugged this link. is the application yeah. um, then it will show null because I am not coming through the this link I am not coming through this link so it will show null it will show uh, it will just show the home screen then only we can go to a detail screen so yeah, uh, and here I have initial uh, first I am get, getting the initial link and uh, initial dot url it's uh, it's have two objects for one is metadata and other one is uh, url url uh, dot url and checking whether it's null or not if not it will come to here and checking whether it's the proper url i have used to navigate because if i want to straight away navigate to another screen i just have to uh, specify my user sw switch case uh, to navigate to that place yeah uh, and I have uh, this is the uh, button that uh, in the home screen and yeah, the next one is the detail screen detail screen is as simple as possible it I have used uh, just a simple react native application uh, uh, in uh, it has just an image tag and a text tag As, uh, image tag is uh, the you are you the image is coming from a URI from this uh, URI, it's a public API, and yeah, uh, when it yeah. So now let's go to the Firebase. Yeah, this is the dynamic link. First of all, you must create a project and uh, custom. Um, you have to create the project and connect it to your uh, uh, application. You have to do it in uh, Android and you can uh, add it into Android or I, uh, web app or Android or iOS. So I have already for 
time duration I have already configured it. I will go through a small process of it. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. So the this will be the product ID and the details. Um, here I have configured. This is the app ID. Uh, you just have to create an app ID. If I want to, yes, I will go through. It. Yeah, here if you want to create a, a new app, it's uh, it's I'm using for Android uh, application. So you just have to put the package name. Package name can be uh, found on uh, inside a uh, Android folder. Android folder. Mm interface file yeah. actually it's in the build yeah here is the ID you just need to copy paste it copy paste it here and since I have used it before I can't be re I cannot be replaced otherwise it will if it will, it will be replaced Uh, then it it will show a config file uh, in the uh, after you create the, after you fill those for fields and it, you just have to it's a JSON file you just have to download it and put it inside the Android folder inside Android folder then it will be yeah it's here you just have to uh, drag and drop inside this Android folder and just we have to build it then it's uh, the five ways is completely done and completely configured and you have to pass some para uh, dependency you have to put some dependencies and um, it's all it's already in the blog it's already in the documentation it's a documentation as simple as, as possible so you anyone can read uh, anyone can do it it's so simple and here uh, let's go to our main one uh, the dynamic thing after you create it it will show as this it will just navigate here this is the dashboard. Uh, dashboard uh, here. Uh, these are the you will get the statistics. Uh, if you want to get the statistics, it's, it's Firebase because of Firebase you can easily get the an, an, uh, analytics easily. And when you want to go to dynamic links. Yeah. Okay. Uh, here I have. Uh, or is, uh, I have come uh, created a deep link. Uh, if you want to create a URL, just have to customize it. And by the way, uh, if you want to just to create a URL, HTTP, and you have to use if you have your own custom domain, you can easily configure it. Otherwise, uh, page dot link can be. It's already uh, configured. So after you created. It will be done. Okay. Uh, now the this is our domain. Now we have to create a dynamic link. You can have this dynamic link. Just copy it. Okay. And these other, if you want to specify a specific parameter to what you want, uh, uh, if you want to navigate, or uh, you just have to pass a parameter. Through this you just have to specify it here before you creating a dynamic link and after that it will come here and this is the deep link URL URL and you just have to put a deep link name I'll put uh, two. yeah and here here is the iOS if you uh, if if a user is coming through a iOS platform, then uh, if we have a website, we can stay. Uh, we can straight away give uh, give him the URI that we specified. It will navigate to our website. We have to because if it is a custom domain, we have to have a, a normal website. So we it will be navigate to website. Or else, if you want to open inside a iOS application, if you want to you know, iOS application, you just have to specify here. Since I haven't uh, configured it, 
I will go through the browser and next uh, here the Android one same as the iOS one so here I am selecting Android app and selecting what I have configured and yeah uh, this here you can uh, this if you want to specify you can specify uh, Google Play for lower versions or else uh, you just uh, it's up to you it's up to your purpose uh, if you want to open uh, Google Play Store for uh, lower versions uh, here you can have uh, custom URL for or else the Google Play uh, experience I'm just going with the defaults here yeah. and if you want to track uh, use analytics and those kind of stuff you will be able to uh, configure it from here since uh, we are main objective is to let you all know uh, how uh, just give a brief introduction about the deep linking and here I go and uh, create create one um, go to the details this is the dynamic link as I show uh, as I explained I show there's two kind of link, uh, dynamic links a long one and a short one short one is the one we are using for um, uh, to get the users because you don't need uh, the this even from this you user can be navigated this is uh, this uh, long the dynamic link has been encrypted it's where uh, it's because when you're using through a web browser it has to be decrypt and then only it will go to the normal uh, uh, Android or iOS platforms. Yeah, um, this is the basic stuff. And let's go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go. And here you just have to specify in the manifest file. You just have to specify the URI that you have used here. This is the previous one I have uh, ex uh, I have used. You just have to copy paste that uh, without the HTTPS. You just have to copy paste here, and you just have to uh, schema as uh, you have to be uh, HTTP or HTTPS specify here, and yeah, that's it and. It will now has to, it is now is working and after you give a npx react native run and write to build mm. it has to be built okay um, it will navigate here it's working properly um, if we go to the console log, it will not because we are not coming through the link and this is the link we are we have created and we go through the we can close this application and open the browser and just copy paste the code and copy paste the URI then it will load either it's checking whether it's installed or not if not it is going to uh, Play Store and uh, it will be it will ask for the installation and after the installation it will straight away come to this screen because we have directed it has uh, the, if the user is coming through this link only it has to be come to it can be uh, no need to go to the home page it has straight away on point you have just have to show the details this is the details and you here you can see here you can see the URI and what I uh, initial link that we are getting from the Firebase uh, URI this is the URI we are using and yeah so this is the demo of uh, deep linking and uh, any the, uh, this uh, repo will be available in github we will share the link and this is the documentation in the documentation uh, manual installation if you are using in uh, if you are using uh, react native uh, wait, I was if you yeah. 
if you are using React Native uh, uh, 0 0.63 and it's uh, it's uh, it's communicated with the auto link so you can you don't need to go to uh, the, you don't need to uh, get this uh, manual installation done because it's already auto linking it and uh, it will already if you are using a down if you are using a downgrade one you have to be uh, you have to uh, it, it's not supported react native is not supported for auto link it for previous versions so you have to uh, go through this and just you have to just copy paste this uh, two codes inside this uh, settings variable and yeah uh, and the document and let's go to the dynamic link uh, here you can if you want if you want you can even create your own links inside your applications uh, and these are the methods uh, we are using and for analytics stuff you can use uh, parameters as follows if you want to use the analytics feature um, yeah so this is a demo and uh, you can uh, uh, install uh, you will this uh, uh, the deep linking is much the thanks to firebase it's deep link has been much easy to customize and uh, the situation uh, we can use it in anywhere we want and yeah so uh, as finally so if you want if you have any other questions feel free to comment down below and also stay tuned for uh, new uh, webinars as we will continue to do our webinars in new technologies uh, so yeah thank you